Not long after we started down a gravelly wash, we came across a long-nosed leopard lizard. This was very exciting for us and one of the lizards that we really had hoped to see. Because of our focus on catching the lizard, we were not able to get the catch on film. However, we did get it up close for the cameras afterwards. Okay, I was able to catch that leopard lizard and it is just a beautiful little specimen. There you can see that striped throat and that long tail. It gets the name leopard lizard from all of those beautiful spots. But what an exciting catch. Okay, we have a zebra tail lizard right here. These things are super fast, so it's going to be really hard to get this guy. But luckily he's out in the open, and we will try to get him. It's hard to see my loop from this angle. Got him. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Sweet. That is so cool. Zebra-tailed lizards exhibit some very unique features, including a very stubby snout and extremely long fingers and toes. In addition to the lizard's physical appearance, we notice some interesting behaviors as well. The most notable being its tail display. Like other lizard species, the zebra-tailed lizard's tail will detach if a predator takes hold of it. When the zebra-tailed lizard is alerted, it'll raise its brightly banded tail above its back to draw a predator's attention to the expendable tail, giving the lizard an increased chance of escape. We saw about six zebra-tailed lizards on this outing, and every single one we came across was in the bottom of a gravelly wash, with very little cover. And I noticed that each time we spooked one of these, rather than running to the nearest cover and taking shelter like most lizards, once the lizard made a break and began to sprint, it would not stop until it was running well out of our sight, usually around 50 to 100 yards. Just a little guy. Just a tiny little tarantula. Hey buddy. Oh, he is fast. This is a different uh, type of tarantula than I'm used to seeing, I think. It's much quicker and smaller. I don't want to get on my hand either. There he is, I see him, he's hiding in the bush. It's our second zebra tail. There's another tarantula. Bigger than the ones we had yesterday. Okay, this is our third species of lizard that we have caught on this trip common side blotch lizard. We've actually seen a lot of these, but um, this was the first one we were able to catch, and it's a really good one. It's a pretty good size for the species, and it's got really vibrant blue speckles. You can see where they get their name, side blotch, for that black um, little blotch on their side right there. So really, really pretty lizard species, even though it's super common. Okay, it's not the lizard that we came here for, but we did catch a sagebrush lizard. Carson had the fast hands on that one. Here we have a young desert spiny lizard. You can see that from the big scales. Just a little guy. 
This is the third one we've seen on our trip. I will let him go. On the map I had seen that there was a stream nearby, so we went to go check it out and see if we could find any amphibians or other aquatic species. How's it going, Tyler? Uh, good. Just relaxing in the stream? Yeah. Okay, walking along the stream right here, we just caught two red spotted toads. Oh, they're so cute. There's... Tyler, do you have one? I have three. <laughs> Let me see. Is that a fourth one? There are literally hundreds of these little red spotted toads just lining the banks of this stream. They are everywhere. That's the biggest one we've seen so far. I'll catch it. You want to grab it? That's like the biggest one we've seen. Yeah. By far. This is our first time seeing red spotted toads, and there's thousands of them. There's one right here. Gotta watch our step carefully because we don't want to. Step on them. 